A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 19 through 23. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side and the disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. So let's take a minute uh, and breathe, breathe deeply for a minute. As you inhale, imagine Christ coming close to you. As you exhale, imagine yourself going toward Christ. We'll try that one more time. As you inhale, imagine Christ coming close to you. As you exhale, imagine yourself going toward Christ. Now, on your inhale this time, name a place in our community, in our nation, or in our world that needs to know and experience God's peace. And with your exhale, repeat Jesus's words, peace be with you. As you inhale, name a place in our community, in our nation, or in our world that needs to know and experience God's peace. And as you exhale, repeat the words of Jesus, peace be with you. Let us pray. Prince of Peace, draw near to us this day. Calm our fears and our anxieties and help us to share your peace with others. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, and it's in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it's in dying 
that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Praying for each of you today that the peace of God may rest on your hearts and your minds uh, and that you will be about uh, the offering of that peace, uh, that you may be a peacemaker in the world this day. Thank you for joining me uh, today at noon for this time of prayer, and we will gather again uh, at 7 p.m. tonight, holding each one of you in prayer, um, praying that you know that you are deeply loved and held this day. God loves you, and so do I. See you later, friends.